Hello, and welcome to module three of using educational technology in the English language classroom. This module is dedicated to the use of technology for teaching grammar, and we're excited to bring you an amazing lineup of experts to help you better understand how technology can be used to improve your students' grammar skills. To start us off, Carol will begin the lecture by highlighting the exciting connections between technology and grammar in the world today. Then, Professor Bethany Gray, our grammar expert, will delve into the importance of grammar and share practical advice for teachers. Following that, we have Nergis Danis, who will discuss the various technology tools available to support grammar instruction. We also have two presenters who will be sharing tips and strategies for teaching grammar to young learners, Sinem Sonsat Hegelheimer and Agata Guskaroska. But wait, there's more. Don't forget to visit the resource corner where you will find additional technology tools, open educational resources, and demonstrations of how teachers use some of these tools to create engaging and effective grammar lessons. We hope that you will find this module informative and engaging, and that it will inspire you to incorporate technology into your grammar instruction. Thank you for joining us, and let's dive into module three. In this lecture, we'll talk about the connection between technology and grammar. Then we'll meet our grammar expert, Professor Bethany Gray. We'll ask Professor Gray why grammar is so important for students, what teachers should know about grammar, and what advice she has for teachers. Then we'll hear from teachers who use technology to teach grammar. Nergis uses technology to teach grammar to adults in her advanced writing class. Sinem and Agata use technology to help young learners learn grammar. Let's start by recognizing that there's an important connection between technology and grammar. Technology provides access to many different ways for students to study grammar. And technology also has changed the way that linguists study grammar. Linguists study grammar today by examining how language is used. Technology makes it possible to store large collections of texts, and linguists use those texts to discover the language patterns that people use in their everyday communication. For example, in a grammar book, students might learn the verb walk is an intransitive verb. But that's not the whole story. Students won't always see it in English used as an intransitive verb. So the question arises, how do people use the word walk? Linguists can answer that question by searching for walk in a corpus. In the corpus, they find examples that match the rule in the book. For example, students would either walk or arrive by horse. But they also find examples that do not match the rule. For example, farmers would rise before dawn and walk their livestock for miles to the fairgrounds. In this sentence, walk is transitive. The farmers walk their livestock. And they find other examples that don't even use walk as a verb. For example, I took a walk with friends along the waterfront for several hours. We can see that walk is a noun in this sentence because it has an article, a walk. When linguists use a corpus to study grammar, it affects what they understand about grammar and how we teach it. Teaching grammar today emphasizes the grammar that people use to get things done. You can see this emphasis on the functions of grammar in the Everyday Grammar TV section of the Voice of America website. One topic is writing about your life. 
Another topic is polite requests. Each one teaches about the grammar that English speakers use to get certain things done. There is a lot to learn about grammar. It's time to meet our expert on grammar, Professor Bethany Gray. Professor Gray teaches and researches English grammar. Her research uses large samples of language to find out how people really use grammar when they speak and write. I asked Professor Gray how she became interested in grammar. <laughs> 